Nickel plating baths should be evaluated using either brass hull cell panels or the standard zinc coated steel hull cell panels used to evaluate many other plating baths. The brass panels are usually protected with a plastic film. The plastic film must be removed and the panel prepared for hull cell evaluation by cleaning. If brass panels are used, it's important that the panel is appropriately cleaned prior to hull cell evaluation. The brass panel should be cleaned using a brass cleaner solution and direct current with a short reverse. After cleaning the panel, it should be rinsed and then dipped in a solution of 5% sulfuric acid. First, it's important to consider the reference hull cell panel, which demonstrates the characteristics of the bath when operating at its full potential under stable conditions. All of the hull cell panels used in this presentation are 2 amp, 10 minute panels. Different types of plating baths may be run under different conditions. You should consult your supplier for specific instructions. Also, depending upon the issue you are evaluating, different times and currents may be appropriate. Notice the reference panel demonstrates full brightness across the range of current densities. There is no burning, there are no clouds, the deposit is fully bright. There is no roughness or other indication of impurities in the bath. Obtaining a hull cell panel similar to the reference panel is the goal of this analysis. It's always a good idea to compare the work coming off of the line to the reference panel. This provides a chance for better understanding of the role of the hull cell analysis. Begin the analysis by taking a sample of the nickel plating bath. When taking the sample, it's important to evaluate the quality of the work coming off of the line. Using the sample which has been taken, run a nickel hull panel at the correct amperage and time. It's important that the temperature is similar to that in the operating plating bath. After the panel is completed, it's not necessary to further process the panel as is done with other plating solutions. Reference for assistance may be made by reviewing the first video in this series. This panel illustrates burning. Notice the extremely dull gray area. The principal causes of burning are low operating temperature, low plating salt concentrations, high pH. This panel illustrates poor leveling. Notice the cloudy dull area of the panel. The principal causes of poor leveling in a nickel plating bath are imbalance of addition agents, low pH, dullness, high pH, cloudiness, improper temperature. This panel illustrates roughness. By running a coin over the panel, roughness can be felt even if it's difficult to see. The principal causes of roughness in a nickel plating bath are impurities in the bath, such as hard water salts, imbalance of plating salts, high pH. For additional information, to obtain a copy of the Asterion Troubleshooting Guide for Nickel Plating, or to arrange for a technical consultation, please contact Asterion at 1-800-428-0719 or complete the information requested on the link below. This video is intended to provide guidance and is for illustrative purposes only. It is not intended as a comprehensive discussion of hull cell testing or interpretation of nickel plating bath hull cell panels. Nor is this a presentation intended to substitute for the recommendations of a trained metal finishing professional. The conclusions of any hull cell testing are those of the operator and care should be taken prior to the making of any changes to a working plating bath solution. We hope you found this video helpful. Please visit our website for additional information on the operation of a hull cell and other important metal finishing issues.